Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stubbs here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about why I think Gran Turismo 6 is going to be out on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. So, uh, also you're getting a sneak peek of some clips that are going to be in my GT5 drifting montage by watching this video. So I hope you enjoy the, the video itself and uh, let's get on with it. So first of all, GT5 came out in 2010, like right at the end of 2010, uh, in around November. So, um, three years later, uh, they should be coming out with Gran Turismo 6. They said that, uh, that they're going to be releasing it on the current console on the PlayStation 3. Um, so that's already confirmed. So that it will be coming out on the PlayStation 3. Um, however, a few months ago, they've also tested out Gran Turismo 5 on a 4K resolution screen. They, I think they had like four PlayStation 3s or, or some shit like that. I can't remember what, what, it, what it said, but the, they tested the game out at 4K resolution. And um, if you guys know, if you guys have done your research or whatever, the PlayStation 4 will come out with 4K resolution compatibility. So, they probably tested out Gran Turismo 5 at 4K resolution, maybe because they're trying to design Gran Turismo 6 to be able to run at 4K resolution on the new consoles. Because having Gran Turismo 5 run at 4K resolution makes no sense, because the game is already out, but maybe they're testing it for the next game, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense. Now, another thing is that if a game is going to last on a console for three years, so I highly doubt that they're not going to be putting out Gran Turismo 6 on the next-gen consoles. It kind of doesn't make sense for them not to do that. Now, the main reason why they're bringing it out on the PlayStation 3 first, which makes a lot of sense from their standpoint, from, from like the marketing you know standpoint, is they're trying to bring out a brand new game on a console that is already out. So if you think about it, um, instead of people going off, let's say if the new PlayStation 4 is going to cost about, I don't know, 400 euro. Yeah, if the if the new PlayStation 4 is going to cost 400 euro, you're not going to have a brand new game that comes out in around November, December time, uh, which is Gran Turismo 6, and it's not going to come out on a brand new console because then you're going to have to buy the new console to be able to play the game. But if they release the game on the old console, they're going to get a lot of sales, you know, in the first couple of months because the game is on a console that we already have. So people don't have to go out and buy a new console just so they can play a new game. They can already play this new game on the old console. So, But that doesn't mean that the game won't be released on the PlayStation 4 maybe in the future, a couple of months. So it makes sense. For anybody else wondering, hopefully this video cleared everything up for you. So uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps me out and it helps my channel out. And it also helps this video out to be seen by a lot more people. So, And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.